All right, let's go, sweet babies. Time to go to the village, see grandma. Yes, ma'am, we gotta go to the village, ready? Okay, because tomorrow we're leaving. We're going to go to the island tomorrow. You ready? All right, let's go. Let's go. go. Move them out. Good job, Forrest G. Look at this cute little hand washing station. My goodness. Here's a little bar area. Hmm? It's not open right now. We're a little bit early, but it's so cute. And that's the little bar right there. And here comes the bus, but we're not taking the bus. Now here it comes. Go, Maria, go. Play forest, come on, here. Maria, go. You're in the end of the We're taking her back the beer bottles. She's got yeah. the she's got the bottles in her bag. Ooh. Good woman. She brought my Phil Pilsen bottles back over here to Allen's store. Make sure we get them returned. Got them all dropped off, baby. Yeah. Hey, good morning. How are you? All right. Back to my looking so beautiful today. She got a little mini skirt on. Go buy a dry fish. Dry fish? Oh, no. That's why she remembered to bring my bottles back because she wanted to strand me over here. At the market. Go buy a dry fish. Good job, Fatima. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> you cannot see. <laughs> need to look at the market here. Money. I need to pay what? Dry fish. I, I don't want to eat dry fish. Me. The in the lunch in there. You know? What about the canoe's lunch? Oh, what you want? We first we get the dry fish, then we, we buy what you want. Nah. How much you need for that dry fish? <laughs> you know, we just look how much the You got left. money in your pocket, no. Louie. Let's go. Okay, go ahead. I'll film you. Forrest, come here. Let's go. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. If I didn't mind, tell us what you're buying, baby. What? You're getting the shrimp? And how much is the shrimp, baby? Uh, show us what you got. You got the pink? The pink shrimp. Baby, that's bag of home. Yeah, that's bag of Well, you, you just fooled me. You tried to tell me it's pink shrimp. That's a bag of home. 340 a kilo? Forest. Okay, tell us what this is in Tagalog, baby. Budburon. That's Bisaya or Tagalog? Bisaya. 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 
170 for a half a kilo. Yeah, Fatima was real smooth. She knew if she said, I'm going to get Baga Ong, I would have vetoed it. Mm -hmm. Now that smells good. But to be honest, the dried fish does not to me. But that smells delicious over there. Hopefully I'm being slow enough on my pan here just to show you. This is all, all the dry goods. Boom. Just a second, baby. I'm trying to make an award-winning travel show here. I thought you were getting these small ones, baby. Huh? How, how much are these? Those are 280. And then how much are these little silver guys over here? Those are 300. All right, folks, there's your prices there. Here at the dry fish market. Honey, when did you think of that scam to say pink shrimp? You thought of that on the way over here? I thought uh, every day. <laughs> okay, uh, I can put that in my pocket. Maria, I don't go to more. Maria, uh, four teeth. Eh. Oh. <laughs> son, trust me, you don't want that bag. You don't want the blue bag, son. You're too young. You get the white bag full of the bread. So I'm not sure exactly what all is going on right here, but it's a hive of activity and discussion. Let's uh, yeah. come over to load of vegetables. Uh, oh yeah, look at that. Kaning ko ante, kaning nasa ubos kanite. Taga gawas, taga Amerika. Dili ka nate kaning bilangkal. Morning. Good morning. <laughs> yeah, just like that, we're back at Allen's shop because she forgot to get the water. So we pretty much just went in a big circle around the Poway Public Market here. This section is a meat section. Looking pork hanging out there in the front. Let the babies get a snack before we go on this little trick. Easy for us, G. Thirsty babies. Honey. Just under no circumstances do you put that stinky bag in that Fjall Raven backpack because it'll never be the same. The backpack will last forever, but if you if you put that the pink nasty in there, it's gonna ruin my backpack. Please don't put it in there. You can wash that. No, no, that G went out. Oh my gosh! Please, oh no, no, no! <laughs> Please, that's not even funny. <laughs> it's funny. I don't know why you're looking at that cell phone shop. You got eight, my phone 8 plus. Parang tulog. Patanggil lang. 
Oh, oh, oh. Mari ya, tangki kado kayak kuya. Oke. Okay. Hai. Ini. Oh, don. Oke. Okay. Come here, Maria. Boom. Tangki kado dong. <laughs> Abut nak. Hold ate, oke? Okay? You hold ate. There we go, folks, riding Hubble Hubble. All right, hold on, sweet babies. Big Daddy seat is right back here. Luckily, I got a, got a small tush and we'll fit right there. Y'all, watch this. It's here we go. everyday life here in the province folks it's about survival doing what you got to do get to point a point b dot approved helmets ain't a big priority when you're trying to survive so all y'all rich dudes out there riding in your suburbans trying to judge me for not putting these seat belt or helmets You live in your society, your world, I live in mine. Hello, beautiful ladies, my goodness. What can I do? Of course, she loves riding. What's up, people? <laughs> he loves to ride a motorbike. Nice, comfortable ride. Hey, buddy. Not so sweet. Wow, pretty lady. Don't get jealous, baby. Pretty purple house. There's a beautiful lady down in the, to the banana plants. That's where I got you from, baby. Middle of a sugarcane field surrounded by banana trees. Sister for us, G. <laughs> they love riding a motorbike, huh? Your village is the farthest away from everything. <laughs> like, why can't you live in here? <laughs> I don't have land in here. <laughs> I know, honey, I'm just joking. I went the farthest any canoe had to go to find a beautiful lady. Take a plane, a boat, a train, a car, a motorbike, a bicycle, and then walk for five miles just to get to you and find them out. Mm. Big kiss for you. It's so quiet out here. Turn left at the little bridge. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's so happy. Dude pissing on the wall. I don't know. I gotta edit that out. He, I heard him say, "Oh no." <laughs> he said, "Oh no." He looked back, realized he was on video. Oh no. Folks, huh? rides over. <laughs> now we're riding on tennis shoes uh, and slippers and Crocs. Maguang, bye bye. Okay, baby, for the video, how much is the ride so I can tell the viewers? Uh, 50. 50 each? Yeah, each and no charge for the babies? A 50 for the babies, too. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you so much. You're going with us, Butter Row. Let's go. All right, so how much was the total ride? Okay, 150. Oh, 25 for the babies and 50 for us. Okay, let's go. I'm selling fish, but if I didn't mind, I just bought some fish. Yeah, dry fish. <laughs> now we start our walking journey. Wrong way, sweetie. <laughs> Be careful, Maria. It's slippery. Here, he said. He, she said in here, "Mommy, I smell something. I smell the a horse poop in here, but it's big." <laughs> Y'all careful in the mud. I'm not going to the hospital. I don't go to the hospital on Thursdays. The mud is slicker than dog shit. Just gotta go switch back, back and forth. Come here. Got some hogs over here. Come here. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good there, buddy. Morning, good morning. break before we hit Come the full water. sunshine. Been walking in shade. Water. Now you gotta feel a little bit of heat for a minute. Fourth G, get something to drink, buddy. We're finna hit the heat, man. Come on. Are you going to put it in the car window? 
Ako alam mo na kay Dingeri. Ah, nagnak nakaimenes ibaura kutob. Alright, let's saddle up. Move ma. Wala na. Ka tubig juice ra ni la. Nagatas. Dagko naman. Ano ho pop sen? Ho pop sen. Oh. Kita na na sila. This gentleman over here, chopping down bamboo. <laughs> yeah, you be on my YouTube video. <laughs> They're cutting the bamboo. Hey, folks. See ya. He's just cutting it down into sections for transport. He's chopping down off of that huge that? bamboo grove clump. Look how tall that stuff grows. Oh, what are you? Oh, mona yan tabaho, mona yan ka. Hi, ke init ka yo. Ah, dirak talang mo eh. Ati lele, ati lele, ah. Init kayu, cek pada pelindung. Checking on the cows. Hold up, you're in the middle of a blueberry or a blue bonnet field. I gotta take a picture. No, it's so hot in there. I know it's hot. Hey, hold on right here. Right here, I gotta take a picture with these blue bonnets. Hold on. Just a second, baby. So beautiful. <laughs> okay, can you get Forrest G to stand up? We're gonna Forrest, take a picture. Come on. Just make it to that tree, we'll take a break. The tree's an oasis. Break time. Uh, uh, Dr. Ma, you look so beautiful today. Look a little buntis today. What you think? Yeah, it's like free air conditioning right here. Can I have some? Okay. Want drinks? You got me a beer? No. Water only. Only water? Yeah. You know I'm a beer drinker. I don't need no water. Mm. Uh, nah, baby. Save the water for the babies. <laughs> I'm a fat dude okay, right now. <laughs> Doing stretching, man? Stretch it out, buddy. Good job. Can I have one? Give mom a bite. Good job for us, G. No, it's okay. You can have that. So, folks, um, walking into her village, when, when I first met her, I mean, we walked a, a longer distance than the route that we came in. And up front, there is a way to get into her village if you go around the far side by car. So don't get me wrong, you can drive there in a car, but you're gonna go all the way to the other side where there's nothing over there. Yeah, you can 
ride the motorbike all or you the can, way. Or that. you can ride a motorbike, right? Yeah. Well, now there's a road where you can ride a motorbike all the way from this side too. But so, if, if you want cheaper, you can you walk. Yeah, the more you walk, the cheaper it is, right? And it's a beautiful day, so we thought we would just share this walk with you. I've done some previous videos of us walking in, but uh, obviously not with the kids on this trip. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so, you know, with progress, they, they put a new road in. That's how the motorbike can get there now. Yeah. Like a new a new motorbike trail. Mm. But it's, it's far. It's, it's far, right? The, but, the quickest and efficient way is to do what we did. You come in to the end of the road and then you hump it out. But, uh, I, you know, I just want to let you know, we can't get there in a car. It's just, imagine a big sugarcane field, all the activities over here by the beach and you're in the middle. So if you go all the way to this side and come all the way around, well, you can get there in a car, but it's just not efficient. Okay. Forrest G is packing up the... Uh, if y'all raving backpack, I guess he's ready to go. Go ahead, pack it up, babies. You're doing a great job. And once you get big enough to carry that backpack, I'm sure mama will love you. You put the dirt. Don't hey, don't put that fish in there. Folks, y'all think I'm joking, but if she puts that stinky fish, that backpack will never be the same. That blue bag right there has got bug along and stinky fish. That's one of the stinkiest bags known to man right now. Let's go. All right. Again, Fatima, you were looking so beautiful today. Now I remember exactly why when you chased me down that I decided to choose you. You bring that for us. You bring that. Yeah, he can bring it. Let's go, buddy. No, don't chew it like this. Uh, like I'll let this. him chew it because he'll chew it once only and then that'll be the end of his chewing. Let's go. Right, get your hat on, boy. Where's the hat? Uh, it's on Maria's head. She got two. Good job, Forrest G. Good job, Forrest G. <laughs> let's go. All right, mount up. Let's go. Let's go. Boom, mount. I got either mud or carabao poop on my carbon fiber tripod. I'm going to need you to clean this when we get to the village. Okay. <laughs> Um, me first, babe. Me first, then follow mama, okay? So go right through it. Corn dude is going to go on the high side around it. It's just a little slippery, but it's not as muddy up here. You got to navigate one more. Okay, we'll try not to dump this FX3 in a mud hole. Because I can't explain to you how slippery this mud is. It's not like... It's not like Mississippi dirt road mud. This is more like grease. So like before, before it's like sheetrock mud. So like before, it's like sheetrock mud. But I'd say 50% sheetrock mud, 50% uh, grease. That would explain this here mud. Come on, follow mommy, okay? Here. Forrest, come on. Good job, sweet babies. Keep moving. <laughs> follow mommy. 
me. <laughs> Good job, sweet babies. Hello. We almost in the village. Who is that? That's Grandma. Grandma and her dog. I mean, what's Grandma got in the sack? What she got in the bag? It's a coconut. Bagul. The bagul. The coconut. Coconut husk for the fire? No, 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 no. The one that. Where we cook? Ah, get the basta bagul. I try to catch up with mom, but she's walking fast because that's heavy on her head. Her dog's taking a break. Yeah, he likes to swim, huh? Yes. Are you ready? We're almost to the village. Is that puppy not scared in the water? No, he's not scared of the water. Uh-oh, got one gave out. Yeah, follow the dog. You see, I just get on this grass over here. Just beat that grass down a little bit until you get back to dry ground. Just a couple minute break in the shade here. Let everybody cool off. Almost there. Shade of a lone palm tree. Could save you. Forest G's not happy now. <laughs> Papa's got you now. Papa carried the rest of the way, buddy. You just ran out of gas right before the finish line. You get him next time. <laughs> but, but when we walk in here, he's not complaining. <laughs> out of the way, you dobie. Just like that, we're back in the village. Hello, buddy. <laughs> Take your hats off, babies. Cool off. This boy's hot. He's a hot dog. They find the cell phone? Where? It's in the house. Good job, Maria. They found your cell phone, sweetie. Yeah, put some pants on, new pal. I can't film when you're in your birthday suit, boy. <laughs> there we go, Upal. Now I can film you, buddy. You over there chilling in your birthday suit. Maria, you okay, sweetie? Drink some water, sweetie girl. Of course, she's gonna enjoy a donut. Donut? Donut. Maria, give the Kuya a donut. You want some donut or no, no? No, you eat your donuts, sweetie. Papa's okay. You save those donuts for you and the babies, okay? But thank you. Okay, folks, before I forget, does the FX3 overheat? It's never overheated, never giving me any heat warning. You're sweating. Yeah, your daddy's overheating, but the camera does not overheat. I film with the FX3 in two places right now, the Philippines and Thailand. And for the past two months, right now it's nice and cool, but we're down here by the beach 
I've had some rain come through, but for the past like two months, it's been so hot over here. Oh my goodness. But we just walked in uh, basically in the middle of a huge sugarcane fill. Middle of the hot sun. Now there is a cool breeze. This is not a hot day. I'm not going to claim it's it's been uh, as hot as it's been for the past two months, but it's still full sunshine, full Philippine heat. And again, no heat warnings ever on this FX3. Knock on bamboo. I'll knock on bamboo. That's one of the reasons that I chose the FX3 because I've had so many cameras overheat on me to where they become warm paperweights that I can't deal with that anymore. Any piece of gear that overheats on me is not trustworthy and it's, it's basically useless like that GoPro uh, RX100. Anyhow, just thought I'd throw that in there. I shoot on predominantly this FX3, not all my videos, but um, you know, at least what, 60% of them now, 70% are shot on the FX3. So if you're thinking about buying one, you can go back and watch all my videos that, uh, you know, at the, at the beginning timestamp, I'll tell you what camera I'm filming on. Just check out those videos. I'm not a professional videographer. I know about that much. So at times, you know, the camera be out of focus. Uh, maybe the uh the lighting's not right well i'm still learning this camera but unless you are a professional photographer if you're thinking about buying the fx3 you're going to be in the same boat as this guy trying to learn how to operate a professional camera so i'm not perfect yet i'm getting better every time i film with this thing and every time you film you're going to learn something Fourth G. You just threw out the minute slippers. Don't worry, but I didn't press it. No, you must not mind. The power is magilak that way. Baby, I think you need to move that red shirt over to the left just a little bit, okay? Just move, just move it over to the left just a little. I think it'll get more sun if you move it over to the left just a little bit. But baby, put it on the far side over there. I think you gotta reach. You gotta reach to the far side. I was showcasing your beauty. Eat it, butter roll. Why, Papa? Why, Papa? He's trying to get that mango. He wants that mango. Look at him. Fatima, did you teach him this? Whoa, easy, Maria. Yeah, it was an accident, but you just busted him in his head. Now Upa going to hit you with a stick. Yeah, just reach up there and grab it, Maria. Jump up there and grab it. Good job, Maria. Pull it down, now grab it. Get the mango. Get it! Get it, Maria! Just don't hit Upal. Let's 
Somebody. But the man, watch out now. Somebody gonna get hit with that big stick now. Okay, hit it, Maria. Go, go. Good job, sweetie. Good job, Maria. Good job, Maria. Almost. Man, that mango must be held on there with baling wire. Hit it again, Maria. Hit it again. Again. Good job, Upao. Hit it, Maria. Hit it, hit it, Maria. Sweetie, just jump up there and grab that mango. I think you can get it. Get it. There you go. Yay, Maria! Is it good or no? But then I've seen you get smaller than that and stupid. Wow, my lord. Maria, you want to eat? Trying to get some cow. Maria. Oh, you getting that rope? Hmm? Did you get Oh, 
a rope order. There he goes. There he goes. There he goes. Chasing the chicken. <laughs> but Emma, your son is chasing that chicken going down the hill now. Honey, this is the deal. If you fall, your mother's paying the hospital bill. Okay? There's so many free mangoes that you can get with a pole. Why do you need to climb the tree? Honey, you're not young like you used to be. You're a single mom now. Folks, I try to talk her out of it. She's going to do it. But if she falls out of this damn tree, I, I swear, I'm not paying the hospital bill. All right, get on up there, big girl. You want, you want to play Tarzan? Get on up there. I'm showing the I know. I'm not editing the I know out. Oh, I didn't show my Anna. Why did I? She's up there somewhere. Honey, all I see is a big booty. Bye, my. Don't fall out of that tree. I'm not going to the hospital. I don't go to the hospital on Thursdays. Maybe it's raining mangoes. But come out of that tree, baby. You almost hit our son in the head with a mango. Come out of there. Come out of that tree, woman. Go, big girl. Come out of that tree. Come here, Marquitos. Come 
Maybe I'll get a hold of the camera in case you fall. I have a million views. Well, I need the beer money. How many did you get, baby? You did all that work for three mangoes? What are you doing? Oh. Tito Romel rocking it out. Tito Romel rocking it out. Kanang imong bunoy Sabay lihing kumbay Lensen! Lensen! Pahuman na oi! Di lang ito kurusan! Ay doon kay kimuman! Murang gatong bali! Karoon nga na wala Kay kining bugma tay sa mag-anto Ate Mama! Waitress! Waitress Mama! Takung bodbodi mo bibing ka, dili kita magmiknohalay, dili sab kita magaway. Ayaw lang inday, kahadlok kung ang tinda ta dili maurot. At doon ni kaning kurang buson kitang duhang o yan magkaon kaon. Hahaha, inday, ayaw ako o pakataw ah. Kung espesyal ang imong bibing ka, mas lami giring ako. Yeah, yeah. Okay, pawis at labot tayo murag ng diawan lako, murag ng buto pa ako. Sexual chocolate, ladies and gentlemen. Sexual chocolate. Murag, murag lako pang siya. Tayo mo lagi sa mukis agut dong gan si mong kamera. Narang kwartas dong gan. Ayos din ang aming disco Sa tugtog na hayop na kumbo Siya ang mga palaka Nagalit ang kabayong bakla Sa talabaw na tugtog Palakpakan ang sulot na ito Ang aming disco Sa tugtog na hayop nga kumbo Give me talit po hayop nga kumbo Ako yung English to ha, give me Baboy ang nagbabaho Ang drama hayop nga kumbo Nagjab and roll ang mga jaga Nagchatcha ang mga palaka Pagka ko nagchatcha Ako pa muna Pagka nagchatcha Among gitanom tanom, kamuti lang kamuti sa hinoy yohoy. Sa matag domingo, mulog song pamig mo simba. Magampo lang sa ginoo, arong taga agrasya. Fatima, you look so beautiful. <laughs> Time to roll, folks. Beautiful day in the village. Maria been playing all day. No motorcycle, we need to walk. Gotta walk, sweetie. Oh, loud. So, folks, it's, it's hot. Force G's a little bit tired. So, I'm humping the backpack and the gear bag. And she's just going to worry about taking care of the babies. It is such a beautiful day here, leaving the village. Wonderful day, spending it with family. This boy is sleepy. 
she's going to end up having to carry him a little bit. He just almost passed out. He, it's not his fault because she put him in the hammock, started swinging for like 30 minutes. Would have put anybody to sleep. So after a full day of sunshine, this thing's dried out a whole lot since we came through here. Now I can walk right down through the middle. So folks, they're out here right now planting the sugar cane. So all these blue bags basically have sugar cane stalks, right? And they're just going around sticking it in the ground. Okay, I'm trusting your judgment because I'm not a sugar caneologist. I've worked the rice fields before in you Thailand. Rice in there too. But rice I don't know corn. anything about sugar cane. They but they're there. planting sugar cane right now. Okay, so you got to stick it in the ground, but those are the little pieces of sugar cane that they'll stick in the ground and then it starts to grow. Yeah according to wife number three here. See these little bags right here are just full of like six, seven, eight, eight inches of uh, sugar cane. I'm just to hold my hand. Papa hold your hand just a minute. Papa just trying to see how these cool is. So he's using that thing to make a hole, right? And then he just sticks it in there. Boom, makes a hole, sticks a length of sugar cane in there. About every six inches, maybe every foot. Let's see if we can get you a closer shot here. Of course, G's already getting irritable. This gentleman's gonna be quite surprised if he looks up, sees a foreign guy filming him with an FX3 on a carbon fiber tripod. It'd probably be shocking. Not many foreigners out here in the middle of the sugar cane field. But there you go. Now you know how sugar is grown, sugar cane. So every time you have two sugars in your coffee, this is where it starts. This is the beginning. Unless it's what came first, the chicken or the egg, because they're taking a previous sugar cane stalk. There you go. A lot of labor involved in putting that pound of sugar My on your table. So yeah, we got a long way to walk, Maria. Case okay, break time. You know, just walk a little bit, get under a shade tree, drink some water. So we're not like doing a marathon. We're just doing a few sprints. Taking it real easy. Out of the way, you dobie. Thank you very much. This little guy right here is so tired because his mama almost put him to sleep right before we left. Sort of his mama's fault. Trying to make it across here. All right, it's my turn to carry Forrest G. Traded off camera for a baby. <laughs> Back to the oasis. It's just a race from oasis to oasis. You take a break. It was rough getting here to the bamboo spot. Carry Forest G 50 50, carry Maria 50 50. Okay, this morning you saw them processing the raw bamboo, and this is the final product that they'll take to market to sell. 
or whoever they're taking it to. It broke it down into slats. This is what a lot of things are built out of. Give you a closer look right here. That uphill slope by kill me. Mr. Cow, the tropics provide. You see those bananas right there? Go on up. Coconuts. They provide. Mostly shaded, a few sunspots. So best take your hat off and just air out during these cool spots. We might not be able to get a motorbike where we got dropped off. We're probably gonna have to walk it out all the way to the road. It's just the nature of going this route. All right, so you gotta make it across this sunny section right here. Going to Kawit. See the baby goat? There's a baby goat right here. See the baby? With her mommy. Yeah, with the mommy. That's a look like that lamb. Yeah, it's a little lamb. There's mama. And that's the baby. So sweet little goat. So this is where we pop out this paved road but there's no motorbikes here unless they happen to be dropping somebody off so you got to keep humping it out easy walking now but it's still a walk Maria's not too happy. Okay, folks, we found a cell phone. We're gonna try to charge it up, call the owner, see if we can't return it to the, to the rightful owner. Okay, so these are bags of rocks. There's more bags up there. That's the bad boy, Maria. Big swimming pool. Load them up, babies. Just like that, back at the beach resort, my friends. Beautiful day in the village. Oh, you've been crying all the way now. Yeah, you so cop boy, you're going straight to the playground. That's what I thought. Had to carry this girl halfway across the sugar cane field. And she got plenty of energy for the playground. <laughs> 